to show you how to play La Corsa du Livre on Traverse Lace Chops by Francis Lay. If you want the letter notes for that, you go to letternoteplayer.com. I have them there for you. Let's start with the melody, and then we'll add the bass in there. But the melody, now I've got it on a choir piano setting to get this sound that I've got. So you can look, for, look on your keyboard for a sound like that. But I start on this F sharp. F sharp B. C sharp D. C sharp A. F sharp B. C sharp D. C sharp A. F sharp B. C sharp D. B A. F sharp. A G E. D F sharp. And then it just repeats. So let's get the bass that goes with it. Now we're in the key of B minor, so we're going to, we're going to start off with a B minor arpeggio. And this is the way it'll sequence for the way I've got it scored. B, F sharp, B, F sharp, D, F sharp, B, F sharp. So your B minor chord is B, D, F sharp. And so it'll sound like... down to an F sharp chord, the F sharp minor chord. So the F sharp minor chord is black, white, black, F sharp, A, C sharp. And we're going to arpeggiate it this way, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, C sharp, A, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp. Then we go back to the B, the same way, B minor. Back to the F sharp, the same way. G, G, the G chord is G, B, D. So the arpeggio here, we're going to go G, D, G, A, B. So we're going to go the open fifth, G, D, G, and then walk up to that B. Then we're going to go to a low D, D, A, D. Same thing, now the D is D, F sharp, A. What I'm going to do there, now they do some other stuff in the orchestration because the bass kind of jumps around and there's some other stuff up here, but I'm going to fill that with D, A, D, E, and then the full chord, D, F sharp, A. Then we go to an E minor sound, E, B, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E. We're going to use the F sharp as a passing tone and your E minor is all white notes, E, G, B. We'll play E, B, E, F sharp, G, F sharp, E, and then back to the B. Only this time we're going to alternate, we're going to oscillate between the B, the uh, B, F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, B, F sharp, and then we'll get back to it and repeat it. Repeat it. So now I'll go slowly so that you can see it. sharps go together and then the C sharp and the F sharp go together and the B and the D go together and the E and the F sharps go together and then the C sharp and the F sharp the C sharp and the F sharp go together the A then these two F sharps go together This does is it walks up A G A B and the melody goes right into the right hand only up two octaves to the C sharp. There's where I hold that chord. go together, walk this up, now the way I 
end that little section is with a, a D major 7, which is kind of a cool sound. And then we go into the second string. Now the second string, you start off with the F sharp. F sharp major sound. F sharp major is all black. So it's going to go F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. Once you get that A sharp in there, you go from minor to major. And the right hand melody is going to go A sharp, B, C sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, G. So you're going to come down to this A sharp. And you're going to hold it out, and then F sharp, E, D, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, A, and come down to this F sharp, G, F sharp, G, A, C sharp, D, B, A, B. Then we're going to end with G, G, D, D, G, 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 F sharp. On the left hand, we're going to have F sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and then E, B, E, G, B, E, G, B. So it's going to go from slow to, to uh, faster in the left hand. E, B, E, G, B, E, G, B. Then, then we go back to the slow. And this time we're going to go A, E, A, E. And then down to the to the D, down to the D, D A D F sharp A D A F sharp, then D F sharp A D E G B E B G E G G D G D A D D chord, and then we repeat it. We, we repeat it. So you're going to go from slow to quick to slow, to quick, to slow, to quick in your left hand. By slow, I mean you go for every two notes in the right hand. You have one note, and then when you get to this, then the left hand takes over that. that. And here you're going to go E, B, E, and then just walk up the e, e major, E minor chord. G, B, E, G, B. And then down to the A. Then D, A, D, then up and back down. So you go D, A, D, F sharp, A, D, A, F sharp. And then you're right here on this D, F sharp, A, D. And then we go right up the E minor arpeggio. E, G, B, E, B, G, E, G. Right up, back down, and then turn it back up. down an octave to the G, and then D, 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 D. Now, when we hit this F sharp, so you're on that G, and you're just going to come fall off it with F sharp, E, D, D, C sharp, B, A, A. When you hit this A, and when you're coming up here, then look down and hit that A. Watch it right together. Now here we're gonna we're gonna change because I've got in the orchestration they have a trombone part that comes in. But I'm not gonna switch octaves because I'm way up here. I'm gonna play it in this octave. So let's get that. You, you're coming through the second time and it has the same melody. A sharp, B, C sharp, E, D, C sharp, B, G. 
Then here's that trombone fill, F sharp, E, D, C sharp, A, E. Then you, you come, you finish out your left hand, then come back with the melody, F sharp, E, D, D, C sharp, B, A, A. And that trombone is F sharp, E, C sharp, B, A, F sharp, F sharp, G, A. And we're back to the melody. G, A, C sharp, B, D, B, A, B. Now this time I'm going to take the trombone right in that same octave, G sharp, F, G, F sharp, E, B, G, B, and then jump up to this B, 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 G, G, B, B, C sharp, A sharp, and then we're into that uh, bridge to the tag right there, so we'll go into the bridge to the tag, but let's put this together, the trombone section. F sharp, and then you go down to a D right there, so down to an E, to the A, now in the original they come right back in with the melody over top of this A, I can't do that here because I don't have multiple instruments being played, so I finish out this A. Finish out the A, E, A, and then bring the melody. Now watch, you're playing D, A, D twice. D, A, D, and then you go to E, B, E, then up to G, D, and F sharp, C sharp. So if you just practice that hand separately, you can get your left hand to where it'll be on cruise control there. Do it again. Then E, B, E, all open fifths. G, open fifth, D, F sharp, C sharp, open fifth. And here's the third right there. So, so what I would do is I'd practice that left hand, get it down to where you don't have to think about it, and then you can, you can go ahead and play it. Now this is tricky right here, because your hands come together. So, see, if you can get that left hand to where it just kind of plays itself, then you can focus on the right hand, because you're going to have to focus on the right hand because you've got melody and then the trombone fill. Now, this trombone fill is going to end up with B, G, B, G, E, that E minor chord coming down. And what I do is I put the left hand on a G right there. And then the right hand gets out of the way. play that one more time so I, without talking so you can watch it and I'll go slowly can play it too slowly so you play it slower it just gets better when you listen to it, it it's a very slow tempo now when we get to this that a sharp that's you got an f sharp chord f and f sharp c sharp and all we're going to do is we're going to go to a g chord but i'm going to take it up an octave back to the f sharp chord F chord, back to the G, and then we've got the tag. I'll show you that in a minute. So we go from this F sharp, C sharp, A sharp, 
And then move up here, G chord, hit it softly. And all you're going to have in the right hand is D and G. While you're holding that D, slide to the F sharp chord, F sharp, A, C sharp. Then hit the C sharp as you hit that chord. And here you've got C sharp, D, C sharp, F sharp, D, C sharp, F sharp, D. F chord by itself, F, A, C. And in the right hand, you're going to have C, C, F, F, C, C. So notice the same thing, the parallel. In the G chord, you've got open fourth. And then in the F chord, open fourth. In the G chord, it's D, G. In the F chord, it's C, F. And, uh, of course, in between, you have... G chord. Now here in the right hand you're going to have B, G, F sharp, D, G, F sharp, B, G, F sharp, D, sounding like and then we're already on the G so go up to this G and then we're, we're going to go to it for the tag we're going to go to an E flat chord or to a C minor chord. Now the C minor chord is C, E flat, G. So you got that E flat in there, but you've got the G already established. So we'll just slide, we've got these right here. We're sliding those two up to a C and an E flat. Now here we've got E flat, G, D, G, C, D, E flat, F. And then we're going to come down to an A, D, G, D, F, D, G. Then we do it again. G, E flat, G, D, G, C, D, E flat, F. And then do this again. A, D, G, D, F, D, G. And then I'll show you what comes next. But So you're going to slide from E flat chord to a G minor chord. Back to the E flat chord. C in the middle, E flat on top, to the G minor chord. G minor is just like the G chord, only we take that B and make it a B flat, and we've got G minor. G minor chord, and then we're going to go to an A flat chord. I'll show you that. Let me go slowly so you can see this. Now the G minor, and hit this A with that. Now see, when we add that F to it, and the A. That's the sound you've got. You've got a G minor ninth is actually when you add this in because you've got see this gives you the seventh chord, that F, and that A gives you the ninth. So you got a G you've really got a G minor ninth chord right there. This A flat, and you've got C in the melody. So now here I could change that and I could go to an E flat chord there, but I think it sounds better to jump all the way down in the bass to the E flat chord. So you're going to have an A flat chord, black, white, black, A flat, down to an E flat chord, black, white, black on E flat. And then when you go to an F minor chord, F, A flat, C. We're going to end in C minor with C with an open fifth on, or open fifth on C, C and G. So the tag we've got. Out of the A flat A flat chord. And you've got C, D, E flat, C. When you hit the B flat, you go to the E flat chord. See, we've got an E flat, G, B flat. And here in the melody, B flat, G. Then we just extend the melody, B flat, A flat, F. And hit the F minor chord with that A flat. B flat, A flat, F. E flat, and then C.
Now you can play this as long as you want. They extend it quite a bit with the orchestration, but you can go C, G, D, G, C, D, G, D, C, D, G, D, C, D, G, D, C. And end with G and C. So we'll have C and G in the left hand and C and G and G and C in the right hand. Now once you get to the once you get to that D. See, that gives us a ninth sound to it, but it's, 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 really up a, it's really an upper neighbor to that C. So we've got... Just taper off, slow it down a little bit, soften it up if you can, and then lift it off slowly. There you have it, La Course du Livre à Travers les Champs by uh, Francis Lay. Same guy that wrote Love Story. Hope you enjoy playing it.